Hi everyone, this is Rana and I am so excited to share with you today a new light up card featuring some Chibitronics products. As always, I like to start by designing my circuit in the Silhouette software, then sending all the templates to my Silhouette portrait machine to cut them. To create a thick board, I just cut three layers of the battery holder template from a 300 gram cardstock and I am stacking them together using a liquid adhesive so I can get a thick board with the same thickness of my battery. And of course, I did the same for the movable part of the battery holder. Now it's time to build our circuit and for that I am using Chibitronics contactive fabric tape. You might notice here that the positive pole is broken in a small place and this is the great idea in this card because we will have later our movable switch. So the circuit will turn on when the card is open and will turn off when the card is close. Now it's time to build our switch. This is a piece of cardstock and we should fold it in this way to build our switch. Now I'm adding the contactive fabric tape and I really like the connection that the contactive fabric tape gives to me when it's come to the interactive cards. Now I am attaching the circuit to the card base and the battery holder using double-sided adhesive. I'm finishing here building my circuit by adding three white LED stickers. Let's make a quick check and everything seems to be good. Now it's time to have more fun and adding some colors to our card. For that, I am inking the front of my card by using sponge sugar distress oxide ink.
Now I am using Knitted Sweater Magingo Designs Stencil and I am inking the panel again using Worn Lipstick and Festive Berries Distress Oxide Inks. I designed this simple window in the Silhouette software and cut it using my Silhouette portrait machine. Here I am sticking it on a piece of vellum. And now I am attaching it to the front panel of the card using some liquid adhesive. Now let's work on the inside of the card. I'm using here this simple grass stencil with Shavy Shooter's Distress Oxide ink to create my first layer of the grass. By shifting the stencil and changing the position, I am creating the second layer of the grass using Moat Lawn Distress Oxide ink. I have another grass stencil that works as a mask for the first one and I am using it here to mask the grass and ink the sky with template glass and salty ocean distress oxide inks. Using some blue and green watercolor to splatter the background so I have more contrast and details. We are finished now with the inking process. Now let's attach the front panel to the base panel using double-sided adhesive. I like to create cards with a lot of details and because of that I just designed and cut this frame and I am stacking it to the front panel. I'm adding this cute little curtain to the window to give it more details. I also cut an extra window frame using my Silhouette Portrait machine and I am attaching it to the inside of my card so I have also a nice finish for my window. Now let's put our card together by attaching the panels to the card base with the circuit and the battery holder using some double-sided adhesive. Here comes the fun part by connecting the switch with the card. I cut this small strip of white cardstock and I am inking it using tumbled glass distress oxide ink so it have the same color of the sky.
of the camera, I stamped, colored and cut a lot of stamps from Granny's House stamp set and Good Vibes stamp set by Magingo Designs and I am using here a liquid adhesive to attach them to my card. To add more details on the background, I'm using here Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp more birds and also Barn Door Distress Oxide Inks to stamp these cute hairs on the top of my lights. The sentiment that I am using for my today's card is from Granny's House Stamp Set by Magingo Designs and it's Mama weiß viel, aber Oma weiß alles. The sentiment is in German and it means Mom knows a lot but Granny knows everything. And this is our card for today featuring GBtronics LED white stickers and conductive fabric tape. Along with Magingo Designs stamp set and stencils, you can find all the products links below in the description box. I hope you liked my card for today. Thank you so much for watching and have an adorable crafting day. Bye!